Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackHere.com. Today we're going to show you how to repack your RST in in motion airbag system. Okay, so in this video, we're going to show you the right way to do this, right? and that is using the app on your mobile phone. That is technically the right way to do it. Replacing the canister and having a functioning unit, the thing that you really need to focus on, let's say you're at the track and you don't have your phone or your phone's not, whatever the case may be, you could just replace the inflator. I would recommend 100% using this, right? Hopefully you have a tire pump or something there with you. And you just pump up the airbag to make sure that it's holding air, right? Remember, these deflate on their own, too, right? So it doesn't hold air forever like a balloon. It just needs to hold air long enough to manage the impact. So you're going to want to slide this in there, pump it up. But the end step, right, the most critical thing is this. When you have in the upper corner that green LED is on, when the system is connected and you have a new inflator in it, the system is operative full stop, okay? That's what you need to focus on. What we're showing you here is the app. The app was developed as a convenience, and let's face it, we're all kind of slaves to our phones now, and we're used to all these apps, and it does provide maybe a little more peace of mind and a little more information. So please use what I just shared with you now and understand, right, if you're at the track, you're replacing it, you got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of adrenaline flowing. When you're done, the thing you want to focus on is that green LED. Okay, so here on the table, I've got a couple of different pieces. On my right, this is the Evo airbag assembly that comes in the V4.1 Kangaroo that we're selling as well as the Pro Series suit. This is the current stuff. The suit that we're working on today is Max Van's training suit. He had a crash in this at Barber Motorsports Park. Pretty, pretty big crash earlier in the season. Deployed his airbag. Everything worked great. Super happy with the system. We decided to save this to shoot a video showing how to repack it rather than just doing it trackside and continuing to ride. The difference between the two systems is very subtle, okay? The training suit he has, which is the previous version, the entire liner and airbag is stitched into the suit and there's an access pocket to work through. Easy enough to do. That's not what yours is going to be look, looking like, right? If you bought one from us, a Pro Series or the V4.1, it's going to look like this. Pull the liner out of your suit. That's the spot where your in and box goes. You already know that. You're going to unzip this pocket. And then there is your canister right there, there's your harness, even easier to do than on the model that we're showing you, but in the end, the procedure is going to be identical. Okay, we showed you the difference between the version that we're working on right now and the version that you would have if you purchased it from us. Procedure in the end is going to be the same, the way you access it is going to look a little bit different. What do we need? You need a brand new inflator. $99. I'm going to use a small flat bladed screwdriver. You want to have a fully charged in and box, mobile phone with your app, tire pump. So to gain access on this suit, right, we kind of talked about this already, you got to get inside this pocket here, zip this open, like so. Now all that starts to separate and there is our harness First thing we want to do is we want to very carefully disconnect this. So go ahead and separate it a little bit. You can reach behind here and dislodge the inflator from the back protector. A little flat bladed screwdriver pops that right out. Now we have a little more slack to work with. So when you look at this connector real quick, you're like, oh, I'll push it on these yellow things and pull out. Negative. The yellow things are there to prevent the tabs that actually lock the harness to the inflator 
from coming loose on their own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that little flat blade. I'm going to press one side, hold it, press the other, and out she comes. Okay, nice and easy. Didn't, As you can see, it didn't take a whole lot of pressure. I even put my glasses on so that I can see it. In In Motion has a really nice video for this too. One step that I'm going to show you that's a little bit different than theirs is we're going to inspect the integrity of the airbag before we just put the new inflator cartridge, or before we scan the inflator cartridge, okay? Because once you do that, that thing is yours. And if you have a problem with the, air, the airbag bladder has an issue and it's no longer holding proper inflation, right? Then obviously you're going to have to reach out to us, reach out to In In Motion, and resolve that problem. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grab a hold of the inflator and the airbag base, which is right here. That blue sleeve is the base. Hold that with one hand. This is not threaded in very hard. Standard threads. It's a one-time use device when you're done with it. Just dispose of it, recycle it properly, okay? Now that we have that out of the way, uh, what I can do here too to get a little more access for us slide the bottom of the back protector out of that pocket, pull it out, and here is the back protector that comes with the in and motion airbag system. So you can see all on its own, you've got a level one back protector that's built right into it that works in concert with, of course, the airbag. Let's open up our new inflator. Instructions and warnings, who needs those? new inflator, and here is the adapter that's going to allow us to hook our tire pump to the airbag itself to test the integrity. So, hopefully I'm giving you guys a pretty clear look. See that? The small end threads in. Threads in very easily. No need to go crazy with the torque. The number is 0.3 bar. That translates to like 4.2 or 3 PSI. We're gonna aim for about four PSI here. Use this video to supplement the one that In In Motion already has on their YouTube channel. Well, that's a good sign. You gotta remember too, this tire pump, there's a big difference between the volume this tire pump puts out and, and the volume that that canister, man, when that inflator goes off, definitely gets your attention. And the whole thing, I, I think from from the time it senses impact uh, to fully inflate is like 60 milliseconds, which is very fast. You know, and this is kind of cool too, because it's going to give us a, a good look. It's kind of roll the shoulders over so it's in more of a natural position here. You can see quite a bit in the chest. Rolls over the top of the shoulders right here, right? That's a really important area. Starting to register on the pump now. There you go, if you want to zoom in. Okay, clearly it is holding air. We go ahead and disconnect the tire pump. We need to make sure that we get this thing completely deflated before we put a new inflator on it. Because think about it, you leave some air in there, and then you put uh, a new inflator in it. Now the system is, you know, minus the, the relief valve, right, that's built into it. Because remember, it's designed to deflate on its own. Uh, you want to make sure you get it as empty as possible before you go ahead and put the new inflator in. When we come back, we'll be ready to do that part. Okay, we pushed all the air out. The adapter is off. Next up, from your app, I've got my in and box here, it's turned on. From your app, right here in the upper right hand corner, push the icon, 
for inflator replacement. Some instructions, a little video. The video is really good too. Scan our new inflator. Okay. Inflator is scanned. Put that phone to the side. We're going to grab a hold of the airbag. You want to support it with your free hand. Thread this in. Make sure you support that while you tighten this down. Like so. From here, you've got your electrical connector. You can clearly see there is a ridge on one side of the connector. If you look at your inflator, there is a valley on the female so on one side of the female connector. Line those two up. Push in. You're going to hear both of the tabs audibly click, like so. Let's go ahead and slide the inflator up into its final resting place in the back protector. Pull the little tail of the pocket over the bottom of the back protector. That's going to hold it into position. And then we can grab the zipper. It's over on this side. Let's grab that zipper pull. This model is a little tougher to see what you're doing than yours will be. Okay, got your in and box. You just slide that into position. Validate the process. We're green, so we're good. And now you can see 98% battery, your in and box is active and good to go. Well, there you go. We probably made it look harder than it actually is. We have a different model suit. This is the older version, right? The new one, you pull the liner out, bam, 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 you're going to have that thing in there. You heard what I said at the very opening of the video, too. The app is not required to do this. The app is a convenience feature that's built in. It does give you a little more information and perhaps a little peace of mind. When you wrap this whole thing up, the thing that you want to focus on most is that, I'll just show it one more time because it's the most important thing, is that green LED. Something else I want to touch on here with your in and box, okay? It is very important when you're done with your weekend that you turn this off. A couple of different ways to do it. Two quick touches there on the home button or what I'm doing while we're at the track, right? And I take care of Max's suits because let's be honest, he's 17 years old. He doesn't take care of, well, he cleans his truck and his room's kind of clean. So let's go ahead and slide our in and box out you got to push your release. A little screwdriver behind it just makes it come out easy. What I am doing, when our weekend is done, I'm turning the micro switch off. I actually kept the box that this came in. I put it in there. I've got it in a backpack with a laptop. You don't want to let this thing just die. Okay, if you just throw your suit in the trailer, you're done riding, you didn't turn off anything. If you let this thing just die, like any other item with like a lithium battery in it, you let it completely die, you can have issues. We certainly don't want to see you have any problems, so make sure you take care of it. You're going to want to charge it before you go to the event. Verify your state of charge. You can do that with the mobile app, which is pretty super sweet. There's also LEDs that are on there that indicate when it's charging and when it's fully charged. Those are beneficial as well because not everybody's going to have the mobile phone on hand at all times. You take good care of this, just like this did for Max, it's going to take good care of you. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself. I'm always here to make sure you're ready for your next ride.